everybody looks into swirl. Okay, we are back. We are going to go back to the technique of a ghost alcohol ink swirl or a ghost swirl uh, using alcohol inks, obviously, uh, since I have a bunch right here. I am going to be using Mr. Nola's Glitters Glass Coat Epoxy Parts A and B. It's one to one ratio. I will put black into the resin that goes on the cup. So I have black oxide mica powder and some cast and craft opaque pigment to make sure it's really, really black. So about 15, 20 milliliters will get mixed with the black, will go on the cup. I will drop in a crap ton of purples. This is going to be a purple ghost swirl. Meanwhile, I will have some Pinata Blanco Blanco white alcohol ink mixed into a separate small container of resin about five milliliters of resin. I'll mix that separately from the black, obviously, and we will put the white resin on last, just a little bit. The last couple times I've done this go swirl, I have felt like I put on, when I watched the video afterwards, I thought to myself as I was watching, stop, don't put on so much white, stop. And yet I in the video keep putting on more and more and more white and I, I really want to try the whole less is more thing on this one because <laughs> I think it'll be more striking if there's just a little bit of purple reveal with the white resin. So I'm going to try and hold myself back this time and put on a whole mess of purple but then just a few drizzles of the white resin on top and I'm not even going to hit it with heat this time. I will tilt We'll tilt it back and forth and up and down and whatnot and then let it run all night and we'll come back and we'll see what the effect of this is. This resin tends to be a little softer. I usually use the KS Liquid Stone and that hardens up much quicker. This is a softer resin and it takes longer to cure. So I, that's another reason I don't think I'll need to hit it with so much heat after I put the white on because I think it's still gonna keep moving for a while all by itself. And uh, too much heat gets it moving almost too liquidy too fast, and then it, it ends up being more of the horizontal stripes of the white instead of swirls that go all in every direction. We have a Caribbean Storm, Blackberry Mojito, Flip Flop, Fruit Tingle, Purple Nurple, and Grape Sickle. So, here I go, gearing up and all that, so sit back and enjoy the show.
And we're back. So let's see how this purple cup turned out. Hmm, it is interesting. It is very soft because this is the Mr. Nola's Glitter Glass Coat Epoxy. Let's, let's move things over here. We do have sunshine today, so I will take you out on the, on the deck to see this after we look at it here. Uh, I think it's beautiful. You'll notice I'm not going crazy, crazy over it. Uh, it's a little, it's a little more purple than what I wanted. I do think this is super, super cool that some of the, um, the swirls went up these, or I guess up or down, depending, the uh, twist channels. I, that looks really neat. I love that. There's way too much purple on here. You remember my whole less is more thing that I was I was going to do. Um, way too much purple. I, I don't dislike this cup at all. I'm not trying to disparage how it turned out. I think it's beautiful. Is it the ghost swirl cup that I was hoping for? No, it's not. But it will, it will be a beautiful cup for somebody who loves purple. And I already have somebody in mind. So I think this is gorgeous. I think that I am probably no longer going to use the glass coat epoxy from Mr. Nola's Glitter for these Ghost Swirl Cups. They're just, there's too much work time. And that sounds really stupid because that's what you want usually when you're using epoxy resin. You want plenty of work time so you're not rushed. But I think this just takes so long to start setting up that you get so much movement. I did not use heat on this at all. And um, I still got so much movement that the swirls almost disappear. I've just got these kind of horizontal bands around the top and the bottom. Again, this, this twist part is cool. I, mean, I like how that went. But I, I'm going to switch back to doing these with the KS Liquid Stone Resin, I think. I just think that works better for what I'm going for. This first ghost cup I did ghost swirl cup I did. This was KS Liquid Stone. It has about 15 minutes of work time, so there it starts setting up virtually right away. Once you mix it up and then you put it on and then you drop your alcohol inks and your white resin, it, it doesn't move much after that. It obviously moves some. There are beautiful swirls here, but it is nothing like the movement you get with this, the Mr. Nola's Glitter Glass Coat. There's just night and day difference and it is really I'm I'm convinced now it is because of the resin I used and the work time involved there's just so much more movement with this resin and this resin starts setting up a lot sooner I like this result better for this particular technique there are other times when I would love to have more work time so I'm not going to stop using this I love this resin but for these particular styles of cup, the ghost swirl. I'm going to stick with the KS Liquid Stone, I think. Let me know what you think. Which one of these do you like better? Maybe maybe I'm missing the point altogether and this is the favorite. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So here we are. Um, I'm going to end the video after we go out on the deck and take a look at this in the sunshine. So stay safe, everyone. I'll see you in the next video, but don't go away.